Hey, my name's Eric, and in this demo, I'm gonna show you everything that you can do with actions. Actions, or what some people refer to them as conditional logic rules, they allow you to do the impossible with your registration page. Things like automate your pricing rules from things like early bird or group discounts. Uh, you can also do inventory price changes for how many uh, spots are left in the session. Uh, you also can control visibility of anything on the page with these actions as well. Things like uh, setting attendee tracks or workflows. You can filter out choices based on prior answers. You can capture custom questions from people who answer certain ways. And so actions really are gonna be the most powerful thing you're gonna interact with with the RegFox system to make your life really, really easy. Let me show you how they work. All right, so let me give you a glimpse at this registration page here. We have our details, our schedule, we have some speakers, and then we have all of our registration fields here. We have a couple choices and then some sessions. We also have some event merchandise and swag. So how you want to approach actions is you wanna get all the options and all the fields onto the page before you start building actions. It just makes it really easy. But uh, actions are gonna allow you to customize both pricing on the fly, but also change the information that's collected. For example, on individual registration, we don't need company name. So normally, this is a really hard process for other platforms, uh, but with actions in RegFox, you just build them as you describe them out loud. So I'm gonna show you how you do that. So uh, let's first talk about the most common way for people to use them is send them an early bird. Uh, and that's really easy with actions. You just go over here, you create an action, and then you have a left side, which are the conditions, and then the right side is what's gonna happen. So you wanna say basically, when this happens, then do this. So that's how they're all gonna be organized and you can have compound actions as well. When it's a certain date and a certain selection is such, then do something. So uh, really, really powerful. But for uh, an early bird, you're just gonna build it as, again, you say it out loud. So when the date is before a certain date, then we are going to apply a discount on the individual and also the corporate registration. And we can choose a flat price or a percent. So if we wanna do a $100 discount or a $50 discount or $10 discount or maybe just a 10% discount, we can add that there. And so this rule is gonna run as long as it is before October 21st. And you can hit preview and you always can see how these are, are running. And so we can go down to our registration options and here we see we have a 10% discount that is applied on both of those choices. You uh, also can go back here and you can make compound ones. You can add additional fields. It could be on merchandise. It could be on anything on the, the form that you want. So really powerful there. So that's early bird. That's a really common way people use actions is to set dynamic pricing. And also if you wanted to, you could add price increases. So we can go when date let's say is after, and we can set a broader window, maybe after November 1, maybe it's the week of the event, we are going to increase the price. And you can increase the price by a certain amount, uh, percentage, flat dollar amount, and so forth. You also can set the price. If you don't want to do the math, <laughs> you can just say, I want the price of this option of the individual registration to be $200. So you can set the price very specifically like that. So, so that is how the actions work with setting the price with applying a discount. And that's how the most common uses of actions with early bird work. So let's now talk about a little more advanced ways to set pricing with actions. A common one is to actually do it based on inventory. So we can go when individual registration inventory is, and we can say when it is down to the last 10 spots, we want to increase the price or we can set the price, but we want to increase the price by 15% on the individual and corporate registration. And so that will dynamically change the pricing of those options based on the inventory. Uh, and again, you can use this for anything. Uh, another common one is using group discounts. So you can do registrants in a transaction is greater than, we can say three, then we're going to apply a 25% discount on the individual registration. So as you can see here, this would normally be really crazy and really complicated for anybody to do on their own. But with RegFox and our actions, you just set the conditions on the left-hand side, 
and then you set on the right hand side what you want to have happen. So this is early bird, this is inventory pricing changes, this is group discounts. Uh, the sky's really the limit. And uh, so hopefully this opens your imagination up to really dream about what's possible. Next, let's talk about visibility. So visibility, let's go down here and look at example field. And let's take our individual registration, but we have company name, we have uh, our name and title. We also have meal preferences and what if people have allergies and if they do have allergies, we wanna know about them. So we can set some conditional visibility rules based on these selections. So for example, I want the company name to appear only when corporate registration is selected. And also I want to have uh, the food allergies to be selected after they make a meal choice preference. And then I want the description to only show when they answer yes, because you don't want these registration pages where people just have to leave blank if it doesn't apply to them. So actions makes this really, really easy. And different people have different names for this. Some people call these attendee tracks. Some people call them workflows, uh, but whatever you refer to, it's really powerful. So let's do that now. So we'll go up to actions and we will say, when corporate registration is selected, then we are going to show a set number of fields. We're going to show the company name. We're gonna show the company title. Let's save. Then we're going to open up a allergy selection after they've selected a meal choice. So we're gonna do meal choice. When meal preferences, and you can do when that field has been interacted with or completed, that can be a condition. Then we are going to show the dietary restrictions. And in here, if you wanna type it in here too, you could uh, type it in here as well. Do you have any food allergies? All right, so we have that. And then let's open up that please elaborate field when they answer yes to that field. So do you have any food allergies? Selection is yes. Then we are going to show the please elaborate. There we go. And again, we can hit preview and we can now interact with it. So because corporate is not selected, the title and the company name is hidden. But as soon as I select it, it becomes true and company name and title open up. Same thing with meal choices. Uh, I don't have any dietary restriction questions because I haven't interacted with this field. So as soon as I make a, uh, an answer, then it opens up and I can say no and move on. Or if I say yes, then it opens up and asks me to describe. So this is really helpful for people who are maybe customizing the information they capture for different people. And if you wanna go another step further and actually define tracks, we can do that as well. So on this example, we have uh, four different tracks, and then we have four different sessions. Now, maybe we only want to show certain sessions based on their tracks. So again, we have all of our sessions here, and we're gonna filter them based on these choices. So we just go back up to actions here, and we're gonna add another one. And we're gonna say when the leadership track is selected, we're going to show the leadership option there. We'll add another one. So again, we can hit preview on here. And those sessions, those first two sessions are hidden until I choose one of them. So there's our leadership one, there's a management one. And so you can build your tracks that way. So let me go and complete the rest of them on this example. All right, so I've added a couple more actions here. So I have when the track is selected, then we're gonna show that session. When this track is selected, show that session. And then I have when the track is not selected or completed, then we're gonna hide the sessions. And that gives us kind of this wizard-like experience. So let's preview what that looks like. So we go down here and I can customize my experience and I can choose the leadership. And then I see the available sessions under leadership and I could show multiple. For this example, I just have the single session for leadership. Uh, I also could add additional ones here, which is great and so forth. So I can build my sessions based on those tracks if I want, and they're all conditionally showing and hiding. So let's now say, well, if corporate registration is selected, then we want to require this one that they cannot change it, or you can set it as a default. That's also possible with RegFox as well. So we'll just go down here, we'll do another action, and we'll say when corporate registration is selected, we are going to select the corporate governance track. And then this, this right here is just gonna 
defaulted to be checked, but I also can lock it. So that lock selection means that, that checkbox will be selected and it'll be locked. So when corporate registration is selected, then select the corporate governance track and lock that. So let's go down here and see the example. So we're gonna choose corporate registration and we see that corporate governance is checked. I can't uncheck it. I might be able to add additional ones, but that corporate governance one is selected and then I have to choose from those sessions. So however you want to restrict, enforce, hide, show options, really everything's possible. So let me add just one more example for you just, just because it's so common. Let's go add a new registration type and we'll make a sponsor registration here and really change it up. So we're gonna to go to registration options here and we're going to add a sponsor. All right, I've added a sponsor for $1,000. And now I wanna add a couple additional sponsor specific fields that are gonna show for them. All right, so on here I have our sponsor registration level, I have an upload a logo, a bio for your company, web address for your company, and booth selection, which they have to choose a number and there's only one possible selection for each one of those. So each new sponsor that comes on, they have to pick a different booth and number. So now I'm gonna use actions to show you how I can hide all of those. So I'm gonna go up to actions and I'm gonna build those actions now. Okay, so I've added my sponsor registration fields and then I've added my actions. So when sponsor registration is selected, we're gonna show the four specific sponsor related fields and then we're gonna hide all the things that don't apply. They don't need to pick a track, they don't need to choose sessions and we don't need to have event merchandise there. So we can see this and go up here and we choose sponsor. We get our logo, our bio, web address, booth selection number, uh, we can go down here and then our tracks and our merchandise is all gone and we can just simply check out. So this is how you can do really complicated workflows and paths for attendees and attendee types. You can customize the experience and filter the options they see. So this is really where the power of Redfox and Actions really separates apart from every other provider that's out there. And again, you're doing this with zero technical knowledge. You know, I'm not that smart. I'm not a programmer, not a developer, but we have a registration page that is incredibly powerful. So that's it for this demo with Regfox and Actions. I hope this has been helpful for you. That you can see what is possible. If you have any other questions at all, reach out to us. We would love to hear from you. Again, my name is Eric. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next demo.